Hello everybody. I hope you're doing good. Sorry for the delay, but uh, I've been waiting for the big wave of storms to, to pass over. And not that they were dangerous as tornado producing or anything. Uh, the problem was that uh, the uh, power was flickering and when power is flickering uh, then my of course my modem goes off and if I'm not connected for more than a certain number of seconds uh, I cannot reconnect to the same <coughs> to the same stream so hi Sarah, hi Gail, hi Sonia, hi Darla, hi Catherine, hi Sharon, hi Janine. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to let you know for the uh, ladies who won the um, um, shippable prizes, I'm only going to ship them tomorrow or Tuesday because I had ordered something to put in as a little bonus and it didn't get here until yesterday so and I need to I'm kind of bound to I'm depending on one of my neighbors to drive me around because I cannot drive anymore uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow or if it's gonna be Tuesday tomorrow I have a doctor's appointment as well so what I thought of showing you today because it's a little um, I did show stuff like this before but I thought you know why not go go over it again hi sue and that is uh covering a bowl with canes and the canes that i am going to use uh, are the ones i had the stream oh gosh when was it let me see last year in june that was triple effect brocade cane and they are actually um it was end of May, about a year ago. And um, you can get them to them two ways. One would be just to go on YouTube and uh, search triple effect brocade cane. And otherwise, I'm going to give you the links to all three of them because there are three parts. Okay, so that was one this is the second one but uh, if you get on here not long after I finished or if you get later um, it takes a while for YouTube to process the live so just simply search triple effect brocade on YouTube and these three ones will pop up right on okay and when I made hi Ellen hi Skywalker and when I made it I showed you because this was the the final one I mean I showed you how to do in a final way but this was the actual final triangle and I'm going to use not only this but I do have some pieces of the original and I have the final triangle in a larger uh, piece so what kind of bowl do we need to cover it in a way that it will actually be easy to cover, easy to remove, because that's the main thing. For example, if you want a bowl, you know what, this is a little bit too bright. Let me change the exposure here on the camera. there we go much better so you want it not to have any kind of lip here on the very bottom and 
you can get something like this one because you can stop right under this lip and it will still be easy to take off the uh, polymer clay and what I'm talking about is about making um, bowls with just with polymer clay okay not leaving any bowl inside and if you look I did post in the influencer store and let me give you again the link and I'll get on uh, actually showing you so if you go in my influencer store and you look for baking blanks okay you know that I like to keep my influencer store nicely organized and if you keep scrolling because I have all kinds of baking blanks uh, I don't have this because this is something what I'm going to use today because this is something that I found at uh, Goodwill but there's something similar and it might be offline okay see all buying options yeah another thing that you can use so this is a mixing bowl but you can also use the metal bowls for pets and uh, what I usually use are these things uh, I found them much cheaper at the local big lots I paid like I think it was like four dollars for three of them but they are tiny and they are adorable and that's what I prefer to work with but for myself okay uh, but um, I'm going to use this one today just because uh, it's wider and larger and you can see much better what I'm doing okay so one thing that you need to do and I'm going to be very honest with you if the bottom of the bowl is smaller then you have less uh, problems with it and I might actually get another bowl to show you another thing that you can do um, it's a kind of a kind of like a mokumegane but not really actually let me go grab something so the ones made on uh, what I showed you on my uh, influencer store this is the size and as you can see they are adorable this is a full frosted glass Marina Mille Fiori and then I have these other ones this is a kind of Mokumegane and I only added canes on the very edge And this is actually with cane remnants and again I didn't even make a cane it's just everything is done with uh, little bits of clay and cane remnants okay but for me they are just perfect to keep my little um, stones and Finnegan's here he likes to play with these sometimes I need to check around the house to make sure he didn't steal any <coughs> okay so your first thing and I promise you uh, next Sunday I'm going to show you how to do a perfect finishing on it uh, the first thing that you need to absolutely do properly is the bottom because your bottom should be a circle and you can help yourself
you can help yourself with cutters, with the circle cutters. And it's entirely up to you. It, I mean, it depends on the size of the bowl that you're using. Uh, these are uh, tiered cookie cutters. I forgot where I got them, either from Trish or from Amazon. Because, you know, I don't go on the store, on in, in the stores lately. I haven't gone, but uh, you can figure out, depending on the size of your bowl. And I have Finnegan thinking it's the Monte Carlo Rally right now, here. Okay, so let me see which I want to use. Do I want to use this? Oh, he's using his litter box. That's his own personal litter box that you see in the back there. And of course, <laughs> he did his business. If you have cats, do your cats also start running as soon as they finish their business? All right, let me see. If I use this one, it is a little bit too small to go all the way to the middle so find the triangle that would work the best so this seems to be it right let me keep this out because this is what's going to give me the size of it hi shell <laughs> And then I'm going to use, remember these ones, I get them from Trish. Uh, and I find that they are the best thing for slicing canes. So first of all, my cane is a little bit skewed, so let me bring it to even, even all over. Which I can do with just a pinch of. And if you didn't work in a long time, <laughs> and that's funny. Um, if you didn't do anything with your canes in a long run, then you might want <coughs> to slightly work them without really reducing much, you know? You can just, and uh, I'll show you a secret. You just work a little bit on it and then place it up, face up, grab your acrylic, push it back down. So it's kind of like a fake reduction, but what it does in fact is to warm up your can. Cane, not can. Hi Diana. Okay, so as I said, this looks to be pretty good for the middle. So I'm going to need five slices. And uh, I learned this trick actually from uh, Teresa Salgado, Pantani Pandora. And it works really good when it comes to cutting and cutting the same thing and cutting straight. I usually watch only one side. So first I'm going to try and give it a nice clean thin cut to get my cane properly so it's not entirely straight. So you first want to get your cane straight. Make sure that it's nice and straight. I might actually start with this one. So, and also another good idea is to wipe your blade with that armor all thing to av avoid uh, stickiness. The same as I do and I showed you for uh, mica shift shaving. One. 
two and I'm not going to fret too much about it they need to be approximately one and a half millimeter thick thick because I'll show you how to finish it with the uh, modified pedicure wand so it will look perfectly precious going to tell you a secret I have a Lucy slicer somebody got for me even I repeatedly said I don't want one and it's been sitting there I didn't even unpack it And generally speaking you want you'd rather have uh, the slice a little bit thicker than what you want than too thin because you can sand down the extra thickness but you cannot sand up the minus that makes sense Okay, then I'm going in and I'm slightly rounding up, pushing in to round up these edges before I place it on the bowl just to make sure that I'm good. Oh yes, I am good. I'm pretty much at half. This is what I wanted to make sure that I have a half circle. Okay, and this one I messed it up a little bit, but that's fine. So I do have a slight OCD when it comes to putting things back. So try and find the middle. And you can use one of those little um, dry erase markers if you want to. That is fine. So again I'm going to push these in a little bit and the thing that you need to be the most careful about is to have your slices always butting into each other properly because otherwise oh I'm so sorry Elaine and you want your slices to butt into each other uh, pretty good because if they don't you're gonna have holes in your bowl obviously so this one is a little bit skewed oh see how I have here a little space my pieces to be tightly snug against each other Thank you. 
I've got these ones are a little bit too wide. Hi Susan, hi Linda, hi Cindy. Hi Shell. I'm going to push it a little bit to the side even if I'm going to push it back in once I place this slice because I want it to be oops so again I'm going to go around and kinda push everything in a roundish shape and now I can <coughs> slightly get over them and push some more where I see that they need it another trick if you don't want this to be and actually I'll show you in the second part what to do if your bottom is too uneven how to deal with it Alrighty. because there's a trick to that <coughs> excuse me we are high pollen allergy and rain and my system is unhappy about it all right and now I'm going to go on the bottom here and I want to make sure that everything is nicely again nicely pushed into each other Yes, this you have to do you know that normally I don't spend time on edges because I can <coughs> sand them properly so I don't have to worry about that but in this case it's not the same thing all right now next thing just to make sure that everything is uh, properly fitted here I am going to grab some yellow if it wants to get opened about the <coughs> about a millimeter and a half no base because I wanted to show I wanted to show on the other side as well so about the I don't know, depends on how thick your thickest setting on the pasta machine is. But it's, let me see, try to give it in inches. It's about, no, not a millimeter and a half, more like two millimeters. Two millimeters and that would be kind of like one eight and a half inch no not one eight and a half hold on I'm the European in me is getting bamboozled again so this is half this is a quarter no kind of like an eight a little bit less than an eight of an inch thickness okay What I'm going to do with this is simply a, a trim. Just a simple, simple, simple trim. And that is it. Just making 
making sure that I got the the thickest setting on the machine. Alright. So I don't really care about the... And you can do this if you have a, a long, very long, sturdy blade like mine, you can use that. But if you don't, just use the A ruler and by the way these I have <coughs> in my Amazon store you get a large one and a small one and they are metal and these things are kind of engraved so they don't peel off from the use I went through several rulers before I found this one because I just kept getting some that were touted not to be affected by polymer clay and they were affected now this is from the this is from here but no I'm not gonna do a dot of yellow I'll show you what else I'm going to do after I'm almost done with it that it doesn't move because I have this habit and I have the habit of messing it up as well and yay tomorrow I'm getting the shots in the wrists so I shouldn't have as many issues anymore let's see if one strip is enough. The last thing my scars are doing is that uh, I'm getting Charlie horses on my ribs. If you ever heard of something like that, if I turn, I get Charlie horses on my ribs. Let me check the weather. Yeah, it's good, the weather now. Let me show you. This is the weather now. See, this thing here was way bigger and came like this, and it had a lot of thunder, but as you can see, it's passed, because the whole thing moves like that, towards the northeast. So, I'm good. But the thing that I was worried about was the um, um, power flickering. That would interrupt my internet connection. Okay. Now, this is on the thickest setting on my machine, on my makings. And I am going to place a nice... And again, make sure that it's well pushed against this base and by the way to show you a trick because a lot of people are like how do you know how to cut this well if you don't know how to cut this exactly just put it a little bit over and then do a cut like this lift it remove the one underneath and then you can place it perfectly here and why a diagonal cut because it uh, gives a much better sturdiness than a straight cut and it's much easier to cover and once again, I'm going to do a little bit of, just a little bit. Can you do the, the whole burnishing with the wax paper? Absolutely, you can. 
Awesome. Thank you, Susan. And you can add, if you want more of these, you can absolutely add more. Now, for the next part, what I'm going to actually do, because I want this to kind of come towards the very end. So, I think I'm going to use this one. And this one is going to bring me slightly close, but I want to reduce it to be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to reduce this one as well, just because I'm not sure if I have enough slices in this. This move warms up the middle, the center of it. Okay, so now I am... If I go like this and like this, I still want this to be a little bit smaller. Because I don't want this one to come all the way in here, you know. So... I might actually have to reduce the other one a little bit as well. So remember, whenever you're reducing a triangle, press from above, but press on this edge. So when you press, you press here. Don't press here, because if you press here, you're going to end up with concave sides. So you press right here on the very top, right here, and you press down. That's all you do. And you'll notice that as you reduce, this edge has the tendency to kind of stay behind, so at one point you'll have to come and pull it. It's less noticeable on the black clay here, but see, you can see what happened here. So here I'm going to have to go down and then gently pull. And as all uh, canes that have um, been left for a while, you can see how my middle is not coming out as good as the sides. And this is a matter of... It's much easier to do with square ones because obviously you have the um, cane, the square pairs for canes from Tiny Pandora, and those ones move the clay entirely, so you don't have any issues. But see, like, like here, because a lot of people are like, how, uh, how thin of this, uh, uh, this can you reduce? Generally, I can go as much as like one centimeter i can still reduce it but this is the whole principle so press on the very top don't press on the sides see because as i said if you press on the sides it's going to kind of cave in and when you have to if your sides stay behind and you have to do anything, then you gently just press just a little bit and then you come back. Down. But you always go down from the top, from the edge, not from the sides. See how this one got a little left behind. Because like this, you'll always have a flat side on your cane because you're pressing against it you're pressing it against the tile or whatever you're working on and I want this to be slightly smaller so let's see let me first cut this and set it in place and after that I'll see how small I need to get this one so, 
Let's go ahead and start cutting. Where's my arm on? So first the clean one. And why I am uh, rolling it to the side because if you don't it's going to start getting squishy squished down especially as it's a fairly warm cane because I just reduced it Okay, and I'm going to place it like this. Making sure that each of these goes opposite. Actually, you know what, I'm not going to do it opposite. I'm going to do it kind of like so it would form a little bit of a spirally thing. It's not that difficult. Just make sure you don't get any of them messed up as direction. And it looks very sun motif if you do it like this. Okay, so pretty much I need another eight slices or seven maybe even okay this one is very thick this one is very thick too uh, if you search on YouTube again I'm gonna say because I posted the links in the chat at the beginning but sometimes it takes a while for the whole chat to appear after the, especially after the uh, video is processed and posted. If you search on YouTube, triple effect brocade cane, you're gonna see three videos that come up first. And I made those during uh, three lives exactly a year, a year ago pretty much almost to the day okay so. okay I'm gonna do seven first and see if I got enough so this one is actually too thin Yes, if you make a base on it, then yeah, you can cut them thinner, but my whole thing is that I will have them, they are the meat of the whole bowl, right? And you see I, I have here two little for one full cane, so I have two choices here. Either I go back and I kind of squish them in, or I widen them up. Considering that it's like half of a cane, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squish in a little bit. So that I would have a proper number. No, I hope I didn't squish them too much. <laughs> no, 
one that should be just perfect and let's get this one alrighty so we are good with this one now let's see the other one uh, another thing you can do here is you can actually put color again in between these you know and then just use this one for the next or you can use this one to go against it so let me use this one to go against it real quick to form another decoration layer uh, to be honest me personally I would just put color not another cane but uh, we'll just go with it I need 15 slices the straight one so how was your mother's day Did you do anything special? Especially because I know that most of you are. Not in your 20s, so you had your vaccine. So you were able to see grandkids and you were able to see family. So I hope you had a good Mother's Day. You know what I'm not gonna do that on the next one if this doesn't come up straight enough all you have to do is to put a circle of black because nobody takes a bowl to look it upside down and even if they do they'll see a circle of black but on the other side you'll have a perfectly aligned cane thing on the inside of the bowl okay now let's place these my need to widen them up a little bit and I'll get back to them here in a minute just make sure that again these things go on one single direction they don't go one like this and one like this and you go by this little Um, spiral here now you generally want to break when you have uh, canes that are very rich in color in pattern in everything um, what you want to do is to break it with a, um, an even color because if it is way too repetitive and too crowded 
the beauty of the pattern gets lost so if you want your uh, cane pattern to be pretty and noticeable like this in, in this case as I said I would have personally I would have used uh, an even color not and I messed up here I messed up here I messed up here I put it facing the other direction um, I'd have gone with the honestly with the red even with the white with the pink not with the yellow and now or with the black because that would have done the and why is it better to go with triangles when you cover thank you susan when you cover a bowl because when you use rectangles you have to be very careful because they will have to be uh, not a rectangle but a trape trapezoid that means narrower on one end because otherwise you'll have um, you'll have little wedges of nothing between the slices I need to make sure that I don't forget about the little spirally thing. And I was able yesterday before the rains to go outside and finally trim my whipping willow because it was getting so long. Well, as a fur baby mom, of course I spent my Mother's Day with them. I still need to work a little bit on the garden because I told you that my, my city has very ag aggressive inspectors. So they come and leave you the notice on the door right away if something is wrong all right now at this point I'm going to go again all around to make sure that my thing is nice and they are well against each other And yes, I'm going to use the roller a little bit. And I'm going to use my blade a little bit as well. And then I'm going to use the my next solid color. That's what I was thinking, what I want to use. I think I want to use another bright one. So I'll probably get a or a blush or something maybe even red because I do have some red in these and you don't want to go too much to press too hard on the roller because you don't want them to start get deformed obviously and then I'm going to grab my rigid blade and once again go nice get them all nice and straightened up here
because this is not so much a matter of um, getting it even like this because I can sand out that. That's not a problem. My issue here is to make sure that they are all well snug against each other. Then my next thing will be a little bit of burnishing. And I'm simply using my finger, nothing else. Because I want, again, I want to make sure that they are nicely snug against each other. And why do I use burnishing and not more roller? Because the bur with the burnishing I press the clay down not so much to the side like you do with the roller. So and that helps with the clay kind of getting snug against each other, right? And it is a little bit of work. I've seen all kinds of um, bowls made with canes and stuff, but and it is a little bit of work. But um, it's one of those things. How well done do you want your bowl to look like? Do you want it to look like made by a professional, or do you want it to look like made by a third grader? Because I know it, it takes patience. If you get bored doing it, just drop it. Let it be for a little bit. You know, do something else. And then you can come back to it. Ain't gonna run away. Yes, I prefer the wax paper because I think it's shinier and a pinch stiffer. So it helps with the clay getting more lustrous you know, more refined and it kind of cuts out of the sanding job. Because when you have something that's already nice and even and shiny, I mean, you can already see how, see how it is already kind of shined up. Here I have a little bit of issue, but as I said, I'm going to just put some black on there. And it's going to be just fine. Remember I told you, things happen, nobody, there's nobody that's mistake free. If they are trying to tell you that, they are, they are hypocrites. But most of the time, you can fix your mistake. Most of the time. There are some times when you just have to throw it in the trash and start again. But hey, you know. Shit happens. Pardon my French. Okay, let me see. What do I want to use? Ah, I don't want to have to go in the closet to get more. I'm gonna just check what colors I got here. The chili would work good. I think this is the chili. Let me make sure. Okay, the chili would work good. I don't think I have enough of this and it's too pink. You know, I'm not fond of pink myself, so... I'm not a pink person. Never was. Not even when I was a baby, a young girl. Do I want a stronger red? Or do I want the chili? I think I want the chili. But I think that's the chili. I do have some black. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do black and red. 
Yeah, well, honestly, not all of the, uh, the mistakes are happy accidents. <laughs> Some of the mistakes are just mistakes, you know. Put it in the trash, move on. As I said, stuff happens. Okay, so. Because this one... is very delicate and very black. I am going to actually... do the black line first and then the red. Let me see, how does this look better with red on the edge or with black on the edge? I think it looks better with the black on the edge, so I'm gonna put the red here. Yeah, I know, there's a lot of people who like I guess I wasn't very fond of pink before, but once I had breast cancer, it's like I'm... Ugh. Don't get me wrong, I would put sometimes pink in my hair when I go for the whole opal thingy. I do have a couple items of clothing that are pink, but it's like two lounge t-shirts that are very exactly shell. Uh, very pale pink. And then I have a skirt that's more of a fuchsia than a pink. So, alrighty. I didn't manage to catch it right away as it was coming out of the pasta machine and yeah well that's what completely threw me off too especially because it was like everybody was trying to push that stupid pink on me you know like, dude. And the thing that really kind of irritated me to no end was like, oh, but you had breast cancer, you must like pink. What kind of a logic is that? Besides, you know, the breast cancer ribbon wasn't even really pink pink when it was designed. It was salmon pink. So it wasn't the candy puff pink you see nowadays. Also, you don't like blonde? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with a little bit thinner strip here. And then I did that yellow, so... And there we go. Okay, 
Okay, I want to finish this before I start hurting, so I'm gonna try and get faster through. Alrighty, so the same as I did with the yellow, I am going to get this nicely pressed against. So yeah, whoever asked me what uh, thickness of the slice is, pretty much the same size as your thickest setting on your pasta machine. Because settings on machines differ from machine to machine, so. And again, I'm going to do that diagonal cut. Remove the part underneath. And see this chili thing was way... And I noticed when I first got this that the chili is very soft. And I got several packages and different uh, orders I put in. And it's always very soft. Alrighty, so... Let's first go with the roller, and I'm going to go a little bit going in, kind of. Because, again, I want to make sure that the clay is snug with the previous layer. Right, and once again, grab my little wax paper it looks a little bit I don't know Mongolian to me Kind of, maybe even Russian. I mean, I don't know, you might probably are not familiar with that style, but uh, there is a beautiful style in a Russian traditional stuff. It's a uh, wooden pottery and spoons that are painted. I forget how it's called. I just have a brain fart. And actually here you can go with the sharp end and get rid of all the I'm sorry I'm holding you up with these little things but I know it doesn't it's not going to come up as pretty as when I'm not on camera or when I can push stuff towards me and work on things but I still would like for it not to be too bad okay let me check something and I'm, I'm actually going to have to call it a day because, especially with the storms outside, I'm having extra pain. But before I do anything, if you started working on it, or if you are going to start working on it, uh, before next one, and you don't want to have your whole thing get too dry and cracking and all that, Simply make sure that you don't get wrinkly 
stuff here because you don't want the wrinkles even if it's fairly fixable try to get as little wrinkles as you can and I promise you it's going to be just fine until next Sunday it's not going to dry out I don't know if I'm going to be able to I'll jump on it during the week so we don't have to wait for that long and no don't bake it first I mean you can but it's going to make it much harder for the next one to properly join with this one okay and again I apologize that I have to stop in the middle of it but as you know I do have problems sitting on the chair for too long uninterrupted um, as my stuff is getting a little bit my whole thing is getting a little bit better as I'm starting to get again the shots that I need to survive and be active um, I hope soon I'll be able to sit for longer or at least do two parts lives okay thank you so much and uh, as I said if I manage to because it's supposed to rain for a week at least here if I manage to I'll pop in during the week to continue this if not it's going to be for next Sunday and remember that uh, you can find these canes that I'm using uh, if you just search on YouTube uh, triple effect brocade cane it's going to to come up and it was a very nice effect actually let me see if i can find it again uh, to show you how it is when it is done i'm not sure if i did a i don't think i did any piece of jewelry i can tell you that it works beautiful when it comes to let me get on the display capture when it gets on uh, why in the world is showing me um, when it gets put together because you get three different designs on it as you keep putting and it's all done from just this triangle you create the whole thing and it starts popping out and it's a very very delicate thing and uh, just as an idea I'm going to make something quite uh, similar soon but in a different type of project okay but that one I'm not going to do it in a live it's going to be an uploaded tutorial okay I shall see you if not during the week uh, on Sunday hopefully at the same time because it's still May you know it's still May in Oklahoma so we never know about the weather so uh, thank you so much and have a great Sunday thank you for being here with me don't forget to thumbs up if you just found my channel don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you at the latest next Sunday mm, bye